Hey guys, we are on our last step, okay? So we are going to paint our background. It won't take us very long, but then we do need to let it dry completely before we can upload to Art Sonia. So we will wait a day to do that. Okay, so for your background, I have my both of my projects here. You're gonna pick one color for the sky and one color for your sun or moon, however you wanna think of it. So if you wanna go nighttime and you wanna go dark, please feel free. Um, and if you want to go daytime, uh, and a little brighter you can do that so I think I'm gonna go dark on this one and brighter on this one the reason why I'm choosing to do daytime and more brighter on this one is to give some contrast because if I were to go nighttime that'd be another blue probably right so I've got so much blue on here I want to create some contrast so I am going to put in an orange or yellow in the sky and then I'll do something a little darker over here so I'm gonna start with this one and I did realize that I forgot these two window areas here so then I also am gonna decide are they part of the background? Are they see-through? And I think they are. I'm going to decide that they are windows, so I am going to color them of whatever color I choose to make for this guy. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go with a yellow-orange. So I'm wetting my yellow-orange. And then I'm just carefully painting the background. I like to work top to bottom when I'm doing a big area just to avoid as much smearing as I can. So I'm gonna come all the way down here and I am gonna go and do those windows. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can see it a little better. still need to be careful you can't be super sloppy the oil pastel only resists so much so if you are a little more careless then you can end up with some streaks of orange or whatever color you're using where you don't want them so I'm still gonna kind of trace the edges before I paint in big sections so then I'm gonna fill in and it just allows you to be careful, but then also then to be efficient and to color a little faster once you've got those outlines kind of mapped in there. Again, I'm just using the tip of my brush and then I'm using the side of my brush to spread and to cover bigger areas. I'm not smashing it. I'm not doing anything aggressive. I'm being very gentle still but instead of using the tip of the brush like I do when I'm doing more detail work, I'm using the side of the brush. So I'm gonna be careful coming around the sun or moon, however you wanna think of it. And so you can see there's a huge difference between this project with the white outlines and my other project with the black outlines, it's just a completely different look. So it's really your choice on what you wanna do to kind of finish out this project. All right, so I'm about done with this one and I'm gonna be really cautious. I am gonna wait to do the sun until it's dry. So go take a break, go eat some breakfast, um, but make sure that you are being patient and waiting. All right, so for this one, I did decide that I'm gonna make it more nighttime and I'm gonna use the blue violet as my base and then maybe go over it with something else as well. Tickling those edges. And so if you wanted to mix two colors together, I'm gonna to kind of do that in one second. I'm gonna get this chunk done. And then I'm gonna go grab some blue. And I'm gonna 
make sure I kind of mix that in. So it just changes it up a little bit, makes the sky have a little bit of a different look. So again, I started with my blue violet and then I layered some blue on top. And just, I'm working while it's wet. This doesn't work if you're not using enough water. It's got to stay wet for you to be able to properly mix two watercolor colors together. So it is important to make sure your brush is nice and wet. And it's super important that you work quickly, but carefully. So this one, remember, I did not use the oil pastel to trace around the sun, so or the moon in this case. So I have to be extra careful because I don't have that oil pastel to kind of act as a barrier. So I need to for sure be careful as I'm painting around the edge. And then that paint will create its own barrier. But I wanna make sure I get that blue in there. So I've got a rinse grab some blue and drop it in. I'm just using the tip of the brush to help mix in that second color. almost done. I just have a little bit of space over here and on this edge over here, really skinny section. But I want to make sure that everything gets painted. All right. So same thing. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to jump back over to this one. It's dried enough so I can do the moon or the sun. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a reddish orange for this one and then I'm going to do this like a light yellow. So I'm going to grab my red orange. And I'm liking how this is looking, just enough contrast and change from the orange in the sky, but it still complements the blues in the background. So I'll slide this over so you can see the whole finished product there. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it, as I hope you are with your artwork too. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my yellow and I'm gonna put this one carefully to the side. Okay. And then this is still pretty wet. So I am going to wait a little bit, but I am going to add just that yellow here. I think you get the idea. And so I'll take a picture when it's dry and ready to paint and then I'll finish it off um, and take my finished product picture too. I hope you guys like how these turned out. I think they look really nice once the whole paper is covered in oil pastel and watercolor. There's not a lick of white showing and that's okay. All right guys, have a good one.